Well, the unofficial end of summer is here, and most people are opting to hop in their car instead of a plane to get away this Labor Day weekend. The driving factor are gas prices, which are down nearly 30 cents from last year. All right, we have team coverage on the holiday weekend. Liv Johnson tracking the weather and this cool down. But first, we're going to head to Antoine Lewis live at the Vince Lombardi service area where people are hitting the road. Antoine, what are people saying? Well, Steve and Natasha, good evening. Good evening, everyone. We can tell you we ran into two different types since we've been here since this morning. We met some who decided leaving early was the best approach. We met some who decided to wait till after rush hour. But nonetheless, what they all had in common, they all had a plan. Tom and Stacy Tangway are going to a homecoming in Norfolk, Virginia. They got an early start. We wanted to get out of Boston and New York traffic before rush hour. So Why is that important? <laughs> because we don't want to be stuck in bumper to bumper. Experts say those who didn't get a head start on Thursday can expect busy highways this Labor Day holiday weekend. Oh, a ton of anxiety. Well, the thing is, I got I got the job to do right now, and then want to wait till after rush hour traffic, and try to hopefully at seven o'clock pray to the gods. Traffic is not too bad. Right now, the average price of gas is down, which some say is part of the reason so many are expected to drive to their destinations. Robert Sinclair Jr. is senior manager of public affairs for Triple A Northeast. In the tri state region, we're anywhere from 40 to 48 cents less than a year ago. And all the tri state region is at least a nickel less than last week. And New York City, the five boroughs, is six cents less than just a week ago. <laughs> For those opting to fly, the agency says some 17 million are expected to pass through U.S. airports by Monday. Very easy, smooth flight, right through customs, got my bag real quick, and it was super fast and easy. I thought it would have took a little longer. But if being behind the wheel remains your first choice this holiday weekend, just know not everyone you're sharing the roadways with is traveling. Juan and Gus are delivery drivers who are worried about the extra vehicles on the Jersey Turnpike. It's just a lot of traffic, you know, you just got to be safe on the road, you know, watch where people are going. It's just Everything is just packed today. You know, there's a lot of travelers. Yeah, I just left from Virginia. Carmen Bullock had a 10-hour drive from Fairfax, Virginia to New Haven, Connecticut. She planned for a very smooth, long ride. My whole approach is to have music, um, relaxing music. Depending on how bad the traffic is, sometimes I might have to play a little gospel music. <laughs> but, um, Amen. <laughs> Amen is right. Now, as you take a look at the turnpike, you can see it's moving now. This will likely change. So whether you're traveling and coming back on Sunday, make sure that you are prepared, have safe travels, and be sure to pack your patience. Now, if you're flying and returning on Monday, be sure to check with the airline before you leave so that weather or depending upon what it may be going on in the part of the country that you're going, coming from and heading back to this area, just make sure your flight's okay. That's the very latest from where we are at the Lombardi rest stop. Back inside to you. All right. Thanks, Antoine.